Welcome to the lens test of the Canon HJ21 by 7.5B3 KLL-SC T2.1. This is a lens test captured on the F7 Mark I. This lens is designated as a cinema lens uh, because it has a T-stop rating for the iris. It also has 0.8 pitch gears on the focus, iris and zoom uh, for follow focuses and um, zoom motors to be attached to. Test 1 general image quality using an optical correcting adapter with 1.1 times magnification and correcting for aberrations captured in Super 16 mode. So this is wide open at 2 T2.1. There's no doubler on this lens, so no doubler engaged at all through this test. And we're using an optical corrector with 1.1 times magnification and uh, aberration control to correct for the lack of a prism. Bit of veiling flare at T2.1, but very good detailing straight from wide open. Great contrast as well for wide open. So this would be equivalent to a um, F1.8 or 1.9 approximately T2.1. All looking very good for wide open. You can see the slight drop off in light at the end of the zoom range. Um, this lens is um, marked as T2.1 um, to T2.8. So at the end of the zoom range, when your uh, iris is wide open, it drops down to T2.8 at the last 20% of the zoom range. Um, so you'll notice approximately um, half a stop of light drop there. But once you stop down to T2.8, um, you don't get any light drop as you zoom.
excellent sharpness overall for wide open. Dropping down to T2.8 and that veiling flare cleans up a lot and basically disappears. Still a little bit there but um, very well controlled veiling flare. And excellent sharpness as well. Good detailing and very minimal focus breathing. Um, I'm noticing as I'm watching this. Excellent performance, more than good enough performance of sharpness and detail at 2.8. Dropping down now to T4, dropping a filter, and as expected, even better than before. Um, it was excellent at 2.8, but now with the extra depth of field, we're getting tons of sharpness. Failing is even more controlled, and great detail and texture. This is a particularly well optimized B4 lens. Uh, so not only is it HD, so better optics and better coatings, but it's also a cinema version. So they put a considerable amount of work into reducing the breathing and CA. Dropping down to T8 and adjusting exposure. And as expected from this lens, T8 is exceptional sharpness and great flare resistance at T8. Lots of contrast there as well. Uh, we've actually had very good contrast from T2.8. Test to vignetting and coverage using an optical corrector to start with, uh, Super 35 capture.
this lens wasn't designed to um, cover a Super 35 sensor and even with the optical corrector um, it enlarges a bit but obviously we can't get full coverage on a Super 35 sensor with this lens but with the 1.1 times corrector we can get full coverage at Super 16 with this lens. You could also use a teleconverter behind the lens, uh, 2.0 times teleconverter behind the lens if you would like to make it cover Super 35. Uh, but it does an excellent job at covering Super 16. And just for uh, the sake of completeness, this is the same test without an optical corrector. So you can see it doesn't even reach the edges of the frame as it did before, as we're not adding that 1.1 times um, optical magnification and correction. Minimum focus and macro test now using an optical correcting adapter. Super 16 coverage. So we are wide open and at minimum focusing distance with the Canon 21 by HJ Cine. Um, the marked distance uh, is approximately three foot on the lens, that's the marking. The actual distance is uh, 1.15 meters. So this one has a uh, bit of a longer minimum focusing distance, but we've obviously got the macro mode that we can engage as well, uh, which basically goes down to, you can have the object basically touching the lens. And the same minimum focusing distance is, um, it's still the same when not using an optical adapting. Dropping down to f8 for a comparable f8 test to the rest of the lenses. Excellent image quality as expected at f8. And going wide open again. And coming off the tripod for the macro test. And this is wide open on the lens, T2.1. Excellent macro detail. And we can get uh, so close that we could be touching the lens basically with the object. Um, but we won't do that in case. Um, we bump the front of the lens, it's a very large front element on this lens, but we can get very very close and this has uh, even more macro switch room to go even closer um, compared to the other lenses in this test. The uh, minimum focusing distances and macro distances are the same when using an optical corrector as without. The only thing that can change is when using a doubler, um, the minimum focusing distance becomes longer. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below and I'll answer any questions you have.